Hi guys, this is Wayne from Liquid Armor Australia. This vehicle has been coated with our body armor removal rubber coating. The body, pull bars and rims have been done with a HVLP spray gun to get a smooth textured finish. Our wheel arches and bin liners have been done with a stone chip to get the texture finish that you originally see in bin liners. You can see our bin liner, it's been done. It's been loaded up with batteries and all our equipment that we're going to use for our fishing and it's been taking a fair bit of hammering around here and it can take a lot of friction without any damage and what we're going to show you guys a bit later is we're going to take it in the bush and drive it through all the thorns and stuff and actually see the amount of punishment it takes on our bin line of coating that actually protects your original painting so body armor finish here and this is our original paint finish and this is what makes body armor really unique is that you don't need to do any scuffing or sanding or grinding to prepare the surface to, uh, for the product to adhere all you need is a clean surface for the product to adhere to and then you come up to the body armor there's just a little bit of light scratches up in that section um, and that's if you most of that will wash out and if it doesn't wash out, at least that has taken the full brunt of the impact and scratches that didn't damage your vehicle. So by the time you want to sell it or you feel you don't want it anymore, you can peel it back and your original paint is back to the state it was when you actually put the product up. Turn back from our off-road fishing trip. We've just given the vehicle a good wash to see how she came up after all the punishment we've put her through. We were actually really, really excited about the results we've got out of this. Um, firstly, I'm going to again go back to the snorkel and show exactly the damage that's been done on the snor snorkel. That is the original surface. So that is, that is irreversible. If we come back to the body armor, you know, at, at first glance, everything looks really good and it's done what it's done and taken all the beating. There's a few scuff marks around, we'll po especially pointing this out here. And if you come up to the door here and you can see there's a fair bit of scuff marks, a little bit of scuff marks here that you can hardly see but it's there. And as soon as you move over to the powder coating, you can exactly see the amount of punishment that's been going through. And like, again, the, the powder coating is a permanent surface and to get rid of all of that it will take a fair bit of work or another coating. In the previous video you guys would have seen we, would, we had all our fishing gear here. We've had all extra batteries and everything that we use for our fishing boat. And um, I'm very, very impressed that the only damage that's been done with all the scuffing is a bit of scuff marks through the back, but nothing has been penetrated or damaged or, or even gouged in. So that's definitely done its job really well. So through the process of removing the body armor to show you guys that the body work is to its, back to its original state before the body armor was applied. Like I said before, there's no reason to remove this. This is just, just to show you guys that uh, the process of removing it and show you guys that the body is as we said it is in this original state that it was by its body armor. So we've already started the edge over here. So I'm gonna come back here and just show you guys the way we actually go about getting that edge started. As you can see, this body armor is properly adhered to the body. And to get it started, you've gotta get some friction over the edges just to get it started. It does take a little bit to get it going. But once you get it started, you just keep rolling it until you get a section done. You know, and then once you get it going, you can see it work, worked around. As you can see, it does take a bit of work to get these edges off. So it doesn't, it doesn't just peel off and just fly off. And as you can see, there's no damage done to this to the surface while doing that. So once you, but at the end of the day, nothing's right, nothing's wrong. 
you know, surface is exactly the way it was before we actually put the body armor in. And that's what we want to show you guys. 